Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. World Event Season 5 rolled out in my state today, and if you have not had it yet, it will soon roll out to your states too. You will hear it being called a number of names including Mego 5.0, but I'm going to refer to this event as Amethyst 2.0. Today I'm going to share with you my tips and hints in the Amethyst stations to maximize your rewards. I will also share with you my tips to unlock the wall destroyer as soon as possible. If you like this video, please go bananas on the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. The most common question right now is when will the Amethyst 2.0 be released in my state? Unfortunately for whatever reason the release has been kept somewhat hidden from the survivors community. Based on the experience I've seen in many states, it will start two weeks after the end of Amethyst incident and always kicks off from the first day of SVS. So this gorilla's advice is for you not to waste your precious materials in the Alliance throwdown and survival of the fittest events that will take place between these two weeks and keep them for the beginning of the SVS event which will also coincide with the beginning of the Amethyst 2.0 world event. So share this information out there to all the survivor community. Similar to Mego 2.0 and the Amethyst Incident World Event, the Amethyst 2.0 will be for 10 weeks. Stage 1 will be for 4 weeks, Stage 2 for another 4 weeks and Stage 3 will be for 2 weeks. The rewards in the logistics store should be familiar to all the survivors community. Next, the glory store should be familiar to most of the survivor community. The important thing to take note is to unlock the second frame, survivors need to earn a total of 100 glory points in the current Amethyst 2.0 event. Then to unlock the fancy HQ skin, survivors need to earn a total of 800 glory points across the 10 weeks. There are other achievements that you can unlock by achieving the minimum glory points, but they don't offer any benefits. Naturally if you are active throughout the Amethyst 2.0 event, most folks should be able to unlock most of the items on offer in the glory store. If you would like to know more about these skins, check out my previous video on the link above or alternatively, I've also added the link in the description below. Another tip to take note, the survival of the fittest Bloodsport event should also now be with this group of states. Next let's jump into the Amethyst 2.0 lab. What you will notice, it is a carbon copy of the Amethyst Incident Station Lab. The developers just changed the color of the key materials needed to upgrade the station, but practically everything is the same. It's somewhat pretty disappointing and comes across as lazy. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Nevertheless, you need to know there are four floors, and each floor has four machines. The first floor, the first machine is the Crystal Dissociator, to boost your gathering and intel. The second machine is the ionization tester which will boost your general stats. This stats here are applicable in Alliance Showdown, but will not carry into Reservoir Raid. The third machine is the Amethyst Culture Jar, to boost your underground stats. Then finally the fourth machine is the Amethyst Generator, to boost your Capital and SVS stats. Then upgrading the relevant machine, on the first floor will boost your attack stats. The second floor will boost your defense stats. The third floor will boost your damage stats. The fourth floor will boost your health stats. Therefore if you are a rally leader you need to prioritize the second machine, the ionization tester, as this will boost your general stats, then the amethyst generator to obtain the all important capital and SVS battle stats ahead of the amethyst culture jar. Whereas, if you are a rally joiner, prioritizing the ionization tester for your general stats, and then the amethyst culture jar for your underground stats will be crucial to score high in overall ranking for this event. Now listen to this very carefully, if you are still in the amethyst incident event, and have already hit level 7 in all your amethyst station, please start saving all your undecrypted precision chips and precision positioning chips. If you see me now I am digging with chips I saved from the previous Amethyst incident, and I expect to unlock the almighty weapon, the wall destroyer very soon. Also, only upgrade your station to level 6 and stop. Move on to the next machine. There is a law of diminishing return after level 6, so keep those precious materials to be used in other floors so you can unlock more machines in the Amethyst station faster. Another tip for you to note, you can obtain more undecrypted precision chips by purchasing the two crates available in the Amethystine War Season Pass. This will give you at the minimum, 24 undecrypted precision chips within the first week of the SVS. Finally, all these tips will ultimately lead to unlocking the wall destroyer within the first week. 
The first week always culminates with SBS, therefore by the end of the SBS prep stage, it is imperative that you are active throughout to enable you to get all the materials needed, and I am very certain you will be able to unlock the wall destroyer on floor 1. So don't forget this, and you will surprise your opponents on the SBS warfare stage with wall destroyers. That's all folks, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please do smack that subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.